Numbers, the first book of Moses, chapter 24. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he went not as at other times to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents according to their tribes. And the Spirit of God came upon him, and he took up his parable, and said, Balaam the son of Deo has said, and the man whose eyes are open has said, he has said, which had the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but his eyes open. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel, as the various uh, days spread forth, as gardens by the river's side, as the trees of lime aloes, which the Lord has planted, and as see the trees beside the waters, he shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agrab, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. He shall eat up the nations of his enemies, and shall break their backbones, and pierce them through with his arrows. He coached, he lay down as a lion, and as a great lion, who shall stir him up? Blessed is he that blesses thee, and cursed is he that curses thee. And Marcus' hand was killed against Baruch, and smote his hands together. And Baruch said unto Baruch, I call thee to curse mine enemies. And behold, thou hast altogether blessed them with three times. Therefore now free thou to thy place. I thought to promote thee unto great honor. But lo, the Lord has kept thee back from honor. And Baram said unto Barak, Spark I not also to thy messengers which thou sentest unto me, saying, If Barak will give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord to do either good or bad of my own mind. But what the Lord says, that will I speak. And now, behold, I go unto my people, come therefore, and I will advise thee what these people shall do to thy people in the latter days. And he took up his parable and said, Baram, the son of Deo, has said, the man whose eyes are open has said, He has said, Which had the words of God, and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not now. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and the scripture shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Shez, and Adam shall be a possession. Say also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remains in the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the firstborn of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And he looked on the Canaanites and took up his parable and said, 
Some is thy dwelling place, and thou put thy nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Canaanite shall be wasted, until Asher shall carry thee away captive. And he took up his parable, and said, Alas, who shall live when God does this? And the ships shall come from the coast of Chitin, and shall afflict Asher, and shall afflict Eber, and he also shall perish forever. And Baram rose up, and went and returned to his place, and Barak also went his way.